Hello! In this video, I will show you how to create this dots and friends pray corals of do. Lots of different prays, but all of them are pretty easy after all. First of all, I create the side parting on the left side of my head, and then I will create the similar parting close to the another, getting after all the small slice for the braid. I take three strands of hair and start to move them from side alternately under to the middle and adding hair from the both sides of the braid. This is the rat's braid technique. So left under add hair, right under add hair. Left under, add hair, and right under, add hair. Keep on repeating in this way until you braided the whole section into the braid. Once I've added all the hair in, I keep on braiding without adding until I can make sure that the braid will reach inside the updo. I think it's better to make it a little bit too long and too short. Then I will create the side parting to the another side and shape the curvy parting. This frames the part on the middle. Yet, I spray some water before starting the braid and then I start close from the place I started the first braid. Take three strands and start to move them from side under to the middle. This time I add hair only from the one side and that is the left side of the braid. So every time I am on the left side I take some hair and bring it front to backwards and this technique is called Dutch lace braid so what it does is that when you add hair only from the one side you can create the braid on the another side of the parting so as you can see the braid is very much closer to the parting than what it would be if I would add hair from the both sides. This technique is very easy to do. I think it's also much faster than normal Dutch braid and if you can make the Dutch braid I would say this is easier than a regular Dutch braid because you need add hair only from the one side. Next, I will create the braid on a side, so I spray some water and start from the front. Three strands and the simple Dutch braid technique. Bring the strands from side under to the middle and add alternately hair from the both sides of the braid. I can make sure that the 
hair is up the entire day and often also on the next. Once you've done this braid, repeat the same process to the other side as well. As you can see, similar braid on both sides. Now I create the French braid, and actually I braid only the edges of the parting in the middle. So I take some hair from every side. I put the rest of the hair away and spray some water to the edges. I start from the corner where the most of the braids start. I take three strands. Like this. And then I start to move them over to each other's and adding hair from the both sides of the braid and as you may notice I bring these strands from sides over the hair piece I put off so right over add hair left over add hair Right over, add hair, and left over, add hair. While creating this braid, it's important to notice that you have on the right side of the braid much more hair to add in than what you have on the left side. So it's very important to add all the time a little bit more hair from the right side than what you add from the left side. When you keep that on mind, the result will look symmetrical and nice just as you wished that would be. But if the braid style will end up that sometimes you add very much hair from the another side and sometimes very small amount of hair from the another, the ending result will easily look messy and not that neat as this version that I'm creating. Basically, you have twice as much hair on the right side than on the left. In my opinion, it's not very hard to do it nicely, even though it looks kind of weird situation, but you just need to remember that while doing the braid. Then I will put all of the hair and the braids up to the ponytail. I create the updo and for that I left also small hair piece out, about quarter of the hair. Then I create the loop using the bubble, spread the loop and secure for round with the puppy pins. Usually one pin is enough. Then I start to take one strand at a time and flip the end through the bubble, creating a loop like this. This gives nice layer between the braid and the first loop. Notice that your 
quarter of hair must be still out after this step so don't mix it all these hair strands next I will take the quarter I will share that piece in two sections then twist the strand to the another side and spin around each other to the another basically I always twist the strand to the left and spin over each other to the right then I pancake the edges after few stitches twist left spin right twist left spin right and pancake again once I've prayed it until the end I spin it that around the bun shape the bun and here's the final result thank you for watching this video if you liked please hit the thumbs up and subscribe my channel and if you would like to see more hairstyles check out my instagram account called my hairstyle excel to see one post every day again thanks for watching and have a great day